We mustn't dwell. No, not today. We can't. pumpkin everything in a day unless it's to totally make myself sick kind of an old duh that i would like pumpkin spice no kidding but i also just love pumpkins i grew 21 over 21 pumpkins this year i will still go to pumpkin patches because i freaking love them and i will get those really cool fairy tale pumpkins and the really neat i forget the name of them and i really should try growing those and I will get the naughty, gnarly looking pumpkins and the warty pumpkins. I love those. They're the creepy looking pumpkins. That's so cool. I wanted to expand my horizons beyond the sweet pumpkin things, though we are absolutely going to have those things today as well. But for the main courses, we are going to explore savory pumpkin things today. For breakfast, we are going to have a pumpkin quiche, a spicy pumpkin soup with pumpkin ale for lunch, and some pumpkin curry along with a pumpkin porter beer for dinner. For tea time, I plan to serve pumpkin spice rooibos tea and pumpkin hand pies. I am going to try to throw in a pumpkin cocktail for pre-dinner cocktails. It will be a pumpkin spice old-fashioned. Finally, for dessert, we will enjoy a pumpkin crumble. Links to the recipes are in the description below. It's about the food today, right? And that is, of course, why I'm dressed like a hobbit. Because we are going to almost eat like one. That's good. Oh my god. Wow. That's heavy too. Oh my god. We can work this. Because this, this was only half of the mixture because the can was tiny. But you know what? I wouldn't want to make a bigger quiche than this for us. This, this is still going to be like two meals for us already. This is like the gorgonzola. It's gorgonzola. I still taste some hints of pumpkin, but the, um, the onions are pretty good. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a lot of onions in there. The onions are really good. Well, the pumpkin is the reason why it's so much creamier. Pure bay, make it go from pure bay. So creamy. Yeah, that's not just the cheese doing that. Pumpkin spice latte. Well, we have an official happy dance for Lorena, so mm -hmm. she's dancing for food. That's a good sign. Did you make your own pie puff or did you do that? I told you that. It's the Trader Joe's like um, puff page pastry. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't have time and I couldn't find what they were suggesting I use, so here so we are. are. And puff face like crust is one of those things that no one should ever feel bad about serving. <laughs> Hi, have a good day at work. It's like basically making a sandwich and going, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make the bread from scratch. Mm -hmm. But like your objective is to make a good sandwich. Mm -hmm. Like if you wanna make bread, if you wanna make bread, you make bread. Did you stop saying candy for these, these onions? Mm -hmm. Like slow cook for me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what happened to my brother. My brother's a chef! <laughs> I totally forgot to put these in the lattes. These were supposed to be my garnish for the lattes. Well, we're just gonna have to eat some now, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna give it an eight. It's more like squash soup, or if you've ever had butternut squash soup. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, oh, the seeds are in there. Mm. Oh my goodness. And chickpeas. <laughs> I actually do this every year. I always make. I always, honestly, I'm usually I'm usually lazy, and I just go get the Trader Joe's uh, butternut squash soup, and then I put it in one of these pumpkins. Oh yeah, it's all about the aesthetic. We forgot to rate breakfast on the pumpkin scale, like. 
how pumpkin-y was it? And like what, what kind of pumpkin rating would you give it? Breakfast? Yes. I'm gonna give it a 10 on deliciousness. Okay. And a four on pumpkin-y. Not yeah. quite pumpkin. Not not too pumpkin, yeah. but like you got the texture of pumpkin. Yeah, I, I agree. The quiche was it was really good. I, I felt like the onions kind of overpowered it. And mm. yeah, and you didn't really get to taste a lot of pumpkin. Also, I have a theory, now that I'm going through everything, I probably should have used pumpkins like these. These are pumpkin pie pumpkins. They are sweeter and they probably have more pumpkin taste. I don't know. Somebody out there probably has more knowledge about this, but it's a theory. Mmm, the ale. Salon Shabbat. Salut. Okay, that's actually kind of smooth. That's not bad. Usually I'm not in for the pumpkin, they're like too pumpkin-y. You know? This one, I like this. It's like, I'm not here for the ale. There's a, yeah, there's a spice to it. Mm. Kind of like a pumpkin spice, but yeah. No, I, I think I like this one. This one, yeah, I could, I could do this. What I like is that the garbanzo bean mm -hmm. and the um, mm -hmm. pumpkin seeds give mm -hmm. it this like really nice, unique texture. So it's like a little bit different in mm -hmm. every bite. Go. Oh, three thumbs. Oh. And he go. That's his MO, become he go. <laughs> oh, okay, another meal on stuff. <laughs> I do not have a hobbit stomach. Eight on deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Probably. More reasonably, I think the six, maybe a pumpkin. Okay. Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Rooibos. I looked up how to say it. It's like Roy. Like a person named Roy. Yes, like a person named Roy. Rooibos. Rooibos. Yeah. Roy, 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 your boss. Yeah. Gently Roy down the T. Somebody on the internet said, ignore the double O. It throws people off, but it's like Roy. But this is a Pumpkin Spice Rooibos tea. We have Pumpkin Spice Hand Pies. And of course, cream and sugar and stuff like that. It smells amazing. <sighs> it's good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it definitely can live on its own, but mm. I'm a honey butter. Would you like a hand pie? Yeah, we'll take a shot. So are they also like, you said they're stuffed with? These ones I used canned pumpkin. You made these? Yeah. Oh my god. I also use Pillsbury mm. crust because no one's got time. Store bought is fine. Mm -hmm. I especially didn't have time today. Mm -mm. I still need mm -hmm. to make dessert. This. This tastes like a pumpkin pie. Yes. It's mm. Nope. Nothing can compete with the, that quiche this morning so far. That thing was amazing. This was coming in as like a close. Deliciousness second. Mm. Oh really? So so really versus the soup. The soup was amazing, but this mm. is this is like coming in as a plus. Maybe I'm just like a child and really just enjoy mm. sweets. This is this is meeting my pumpkin flavor expectations. More more pumpkin. The other one's not so much pumpkin, but from just lovely flavor. Mm -hmm. like also like an eight or a nine in pumpkin scale. Yeah. yeah, 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 probably. These are pumpkin spice old fashions. Okay. Arena's is this one because she requested it be made with fireball. Very classy, very classy so, upscale. Except bourbon, that's fireball in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what do we have? We have, we're, we're working with. I'm an adult. <laughs> we are working with the Burnside bourbon made here in Portland. Oh, oh, and it does have pumpkin puree and um, maple syrup and spices. You do have to use a shaker because otherwise the puree doesn't get all like mixed up in it. Mm -hmm. so, That's good. Yeah. Okay. 
What, you know, and I just, no, I taste pumpkin spice though. Yeah. I taste the pumpkin spice, but pumpkin just by itself isn't that strong yeah. of a flavor, but I think it's added something strong to this because it, like, this has like a, like a savoriness that you don't normally get with, uh, and it's not like, you can't tell that it's pumpkin, but it's still adding something. Right. And it was like that with the quiche at breakfast too, right? Like it had a different texture, it was more airy, um, you didn't really taste pumpkin, but it was different than a normal quiche in a way that was really nice. Yeah, I think, like, it's it's very festive. I would love to have this at a holiday party. How it comes to the fireball. Mm -hmm. This is candy. It tastes it's like a cinnamon jolly ring. <laughs> <laughs> With pumpkin spice! <laughs> I think it also could have used more pumpkin puree. Yeah, maybe okay, more pumpkin puree yeah. would fix those. Because right now I'd say this is like 10% more interesting than a normal. Mm -hmm. Uh, old fashioned, and I bet it was way more effort. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Now that I'm getting towards the bottom, more of this is Yeah, it's getting pumpkin here. We've got the pumpkin party happening now. I'm raising okay. my score. It's my score. Oh, yeah. It's getting better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just settles. You just gotta give it a nice little. Keep giving it a nice little swirl. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm raising it to a six. Okay. I'm going to raise it to a six. Not for hand pies, but it's six. Where did this recipe come from? Googling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this beer is so dark. Nice! This I'm looks like, This looks like I'm pouring bread pudding into my glass. Oh, 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 I'm excited. I like dark beer. But yes, it is a... Yeah, a, I can chew that. Yes! It is a coconut pumpkin curry and the rice recipe has also coconut shreds and uh, it also has onions and chicken broth it's cooked in chicken broth and has cranberries that's what it is cranberries okay i'm gonna be honest because I, I dabbled i messed with it after you had me uh reconstitute it because um, it was too thin. Because I decided <laughs> to crock pot it and stay. Don't crock pot it. Uh, I added a little bit of cardamom and methy powder. Okay. Might have been the wrong call because it's a coconut curry, so it might have not been. Well, it's supposed to be pumpkin coconut, but I'll, I'll talk yeah. more about that after I take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm glad you did the cardamom because. Um, <laughs> It's not the most spice forward that usually yeah. curries that we've had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that gave it just a little bit of a just a little bit of a kick. You know, once again, not really tasting much pumpkin. That's probably my fault too, because one of the things that happened, and probably another reason why you should not crock pot this, is because they want you to do pumpkin chunks, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming the pumpkin chunks are taking place of potatoes. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to like cube pumpkin chunks, and then you're supposed to. Uh, cook them a little bit in a saucepan and then throw them in. And then I was thinking, you can taste the pumpkin. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Um, hold on, I gotta control myself excitement and regain what the heck I was talking about. Hold on. Um, and what pumpkin chunks to take the place of potatoes? Right. And uh, the thing is, though, there are no more pumpkin chunks because they got overcooked. And all the stirring, and so oh, okay. there's no more pumpkin chunks. So I feel like we would get pockets of pumpkin flavor if we had the pumpkin chunks, but we don't because I I was trying to multitask throughout the day, of course. Plus and minus. Let's go pumpkin scale first because okay. it's the harder one. Uh -huh. Like two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, I, I'm gonna take responsibility for that too. I feel like we could have had the births of pumpkin, mm -hmm. but no. I'm gonna say that it's about a nine on the delicious. I don't know. I think the moral of this is that like pumpkin just doesn't have very strong flavor. 
Mm -hmm. Pumpkin spice has strong flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's also apple pie spice. Yeah. We still have the crumble to go. Mm -hmm. and, and the hand pies. We all have the hand pies. She wasn't here when I brought her some at work. Yeah, but that's pumpkin spice. Like the pumpkin pie spice. Mm -hmm. Good pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Good pumpkin. Good pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm going to cut it was pumpkin. It was delicious. It was it's delicious. Very delicious. Because pumpkins ate. Mm -hmm. What does pumpkin taste like? Delicious pumpkin. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less profound in your observation last night that the dog smell like corn. <laughs> Not in as much pain as I was before. Hobbits are much less comfortable than they appear to be. No, I I think I've just learned I'm not a hobbit. <laughs> I don't think the hobbits cinch their horses like that. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> what would Rosie Cotton do? What would Rosie Cotton do? <laughs> what would Rosie Cotton do? Okay. Let's launch it. Like speaking of, I was gonna go with the Marion Berry, um, but I think I'm gonna do that. This is not you got yourself whiskey, but none for me. I will share. <laughs> I see where the priorities lie. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll share. <laughs> anyway, I, mean, I wasn't sure if you wanted any, but I should. That's fine. Assumed. I should have asked. I'm just giving you shit because there's a camera over there. <laughs> I knew I married you for a reason. <laughs> okay. This has pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. This has pumpkin. pumpkin. There's not that much pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. Very lightly, but mm -hmm. no, this is good. This is like an eight on the pumpkin scale. I was gonna give it up to a ten. Mm. I don't know. What's what's a ten? It's so graceful. Okay, to me a ton, it's like, absolutely, this has, I can taste the pumpkin. Okay, well if that's the case- Plus it's in the face with pumpkin. If, this, if that's the case, this is a 10. I was, I was okay, considering maybe. a 10 to be eating a pumpkin. That's not- You're the second eater. Yeah, I know all about Likert scales. You shouldn't do a 10 scale in the first place. Everyone picks a seven on a ten scale. Well, <laughs> we do not. No one, not one seven today. Okay. okay I would have done. I would have done a five, but I didn't set the thing, and we just rolled with it, mm -hmm. and it ended up being a ten scale. So it just happened. This was called the pumpkin uh, pumpkin pie crumble. Ten. So it's basically like making a pumpkin pie filling. And then you do a crumble topping, which mm -hmm. usually is rolled oats and brown sugar and spices. Um, and then the topping, we should have been doing vanilla ice cream, but I totally blew it. I totally assumed. Shh. This is that. totally vanilla ice no, cream. it's not. Not slightly colored whipped cream. No, it's pumpkin spice whipped cream. I will be honest about that. And I think it does very well with it. It is not the tastiest thing we have today, but it's probably the pumpkiniest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tastiest quiche. Quiche just won it. Quiche. quiche won it. It's so good. Yay! It's really good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Lorena is uh, going through a coding boot camp. Oh. She's been going through a, a coding boot camp to <laughs> amazing Done. things in the future. Done next. I was like, you've got like three vents in you. No, absolutely not. I am riding a high. I just pushed another um, thing. Oh, good. Oh. So Yay, I, congrats. I have nothing but good things to Yay. Say. Marina, be milk programmer. Yeah. So mostly just here. That's good. Good. Also, this is amazing and delicious. Yeah. Yay. Um, Mackenzie says it's a ton of the pumpkin scale. What do you think? So, yeah. My tummy is so full. I'm so stuffed. I'm gonna die. <sighs> yeah. That, that, that was a day of pumpkining. What did we learn? We learned that I do not have the stomach of a hobbit. 
We learned not to put curry in a crock pot. I did that curry. I did that curry at the service. I'm, I'm gonna make that curry again. I'm gonna make it again. I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna do it right, not just crock pot it. That was, it was done dirty. That quiche was the winner. Oh my gosh, that quiche was the winner. But I think I'm still going to cut back on the onions and try to get some pumpkin flavor back in there. We'll see, we'll see what we can do there. And then, yeah, that crumble. That crumble, it was pumpkin. It rocked it. Kinda wish we had the vanilla ice cream, but that's fine. It's all good. Yeah, that was that was a lot of pumpkin. But am I, am I done with pumpkin? No, of course I'm not done with pumpkin. Thank you for coming on this adventure with me. Hit that subscribe button if you want to keep going on more adventures. And I will see you in the next video. True friends and family stand by you here. When you're weary and weak, you got nothing to fear. In the darkest of the night, when all hope grows dim, you find your heart's rest at the Rose and Key Inn. Welcome here, travelers, come set ye a while. Enjoy our strong cider, the barmaid's sweet smile. Friends, draw near, our songs now begin. Your home once again at the Rose and Key Inn. Your home once again at the Rose and Key Inn.